distinguish yourself and between your, your opponent, um, Dr. Abramson, and share with us uh, how you might be better suited as a governor? That's good. That was, that was the plan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, let, let me say this. Dr. Abraham is obviously, he and I are going to have similar policies because he's a Republican and he knows that's where he has to run for sure. And he's obviously a very smart man uh, as well, a doctor. But I would say the, the approach that I have to take, I'm not going to ever criticize his character or anything else in his intelligence and his wants. But it's pretty simple to me. You take two resumes and you put them next to each other. And I'll use a bad example, but it's, a, it's pretty practical. Which hospital system in Louisiana that you know is run by a doctor any longer? That happened in over 25, 30 years. Okay? This is a $30 billion operation that we have. We have a doctor that's over, so I'm not criticizing it. I don't want to change your appendix out, take it out either. But I have to say, we're going to look at the resume. You have a person over here that has worked with industry all over the country, all over Louisiana, understands what it takes to create jobs, work in the education side of it, to fill those jobs with Louisiana citizens, has helped elect conservative legislators for over 25 years, knows how that works, knows relationship, knows what's important in Louisiana, all over Louisiana, for that matter, a lot around the country. So I just, all I can say is look at the resume and say who do you want overseeing a $30 billion budget, working with the Louisiana legislation, legislators, and knows what needs to be done. That's really how it is.